Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to introduce to you one of the note apps that I like and this is the Good Notes 5. So this app is not free and costs 399 pesos, but this is a really functional note app for students, teachers, or any profession and just simply for anyone. So if you're interested, please keep on watching. So here is the main page of GoodNotes and you can see the document view. But let's go ahead and look at the settings. First is a notebook template settings. There are different paper styles or templates like line paper, dotted or grid paper, and other styles like Cornell, to-do list, and there are also different monthly or weekly planners and music sheets. So later on, I'm going to show you these up close. So there is also an option where you can change the paper color to black, white, or yellow, and also the size of the paper. So we have A7, A6, A5, A4, A3, letter, and tabloid. So the other option is the orientation of your document, whether landscape or portrait. You can also add or make your own template group and import your custom paper styles. But for now, let's just use the default ones. So let's go to the settings per se. First is the handwriting recognition. So here you can set your preferred language. Mine is in English. Next is the document editing. Options are pull to add page, show page number, tool position. You can either put it on top or bottom of your page. Next is the scrolling direction. So you can set it horizontally or vertically and I prefer vertical scrolling. You can also enable the iCloud to store your documents and open it in your other devices. So next is email to GoodNotes. So you should enable your iCloud to be able to use this setting. So you can also back up your data in case you lose or damage your device. Okay, so next is search indexing. So you need to enable this for your documents to be searchable in your library. So you also have an option to restore all default templates but won't delete your custom templates or group. So there is also a trash bin for deleted documents. You can also sort your documents or folders by date, name, and type and either choose the thumbnail view or list view. Okay, so this one right here has different options like export, duplicate, move, or delete your documents. But you can also click the arrow right here for the same option. Plus you can rename your folders or documents. So if there is a particular page you want to open or want to tag important, you can bookmark the page or tap the star symbol to quickly add it to your favorites. So you can search any keywords and it will locate it in every folder it appears in your library, whether handwritten or typed or even texts in PDF documents. Okay, so when you click on this plus sign, you can create new notebook, folder, image, and you can also take photo, import PDFs, and create quick notes. So let's try to create a new folder, and I'll just name it Digital Note Taking Demo. So let's sort it by type, and then inside the folder, you can also create subfolders or notebooks. Well, same options apply, so let's create a notebook. Okay, so let's name the notebook demo only and choose your preferred templates and paper styles. You can also change the color of your paper and orientation. And for the cover, there are various designs to choose from. So there are common templates, the simple ones, the solid colored templates, the black and white, the enclosed templates, the bright ones, the celebration templates, the brown and plain templates, and the patterns templates. So let's just say this one and click create. So as you can see on top of the page, there are other documents that are opened on another tab. So let me just close them. 
So on the top left of the page, you can see the search and bookmark icons, the share and export tab, and also the print option. And last is the sidebar view. So onto the main toolbar. So let's go to the pen color first. So you can choose from the presets and there is also an option to restore color set. So you can choose from the color palette or the color wheel, whatever color you want and add it together with the presets. So next, you can also change the thickness of your pen strokes. So let's go ahead and try the pen tool. So there are three pen styles. First is the fountain pen. So you can adjust the tip sharpness and pressure sensitivity of this pen. Next is the ball pen. And lastly, the brush pen. You can also adjust the pressure sensitivity of this pen. Next is the eraser tool which has three sizes. So in the highlighter tool, you can enable the draw in a straight line option and change the color and the thickness of your highlighter. So in the shape tool, you can enable the require hold to snap to create perfect shapes or snap to other shapes. So you can create flowcharts, diagrams, or even graphs from these shapes. So next is the lasso tool. So you can use this in handwritten notes, images, and text boxes and move it anywhere in your document. So in the elements tool, there are default stickers that you can use and you can also add or import photos or images from your gallery. You can also resize or even rotate your stickers. So in the image tool, you can import pictures from your gallery and resize, rotate, and crop your photo, share, or even add your photo to your element. Next is the text box or text tool where you can type your notes. So this one right here is a laser which you can use if you're on a presentation or nowadays for Zoom presentations or even for online teaching. So here are the shortcuts for the tools. P for pen, E for eraser, H for highlighter, S for shapes, L for lasso, M for elements, I for image, and T for text. So you can also edit your cover, you can add text or stickers or whatever you want. So in the ellipses menu, so that's just what I call it, or the more options menu, you can see the copy page, you can rotate this page, or add this page to outline. You can also change templates or go to a certain page. You can clear a page or even move to trash. So there is also a setting for scrolling direction. You can scroll vertically or horizontally. And the document editing, which I've shown you in the first part. So there are no flashcards in this document yet. So here you can add a page before or after your current page and select your preferred templates. So I'm just going to show you samples of handwritten notes and the different paper styles or templates so you can have an idea how they look like up close.
you also have an option to share, export, or print your notes. You can export as PDF, image, good notes, or as link. So here is a sample of a PDF where you can annotate or edit onto. So we can also make or create a weekly planner or monthly planner like this. So here is another example of a handwritten note. So there are two ways to crop. First is a standard way of cropping, and the other one is by freehand which you can crop a certain portion of the image. So that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share, comment, and please do subscribe to my channel. See you on my next vlog. Thank you.